TikTok and an Instagram reel of Damien and I's date night, the last date night that we had. And I actually had someone request that I filmed a look, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. So I'm going to start with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel because I can't tell if my eyebrows were laminated to my face or not. So I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows. So I'm just lay these up and out, honey. Now, even if you don't really want your eyebrows to be laying flat to your face, I do recommend this brow gel just because it stays on. And I've never had issues with the product flaking on my eyebrows. So we might as well keep it moving with the same brand, right? Why not? So this one is really nice. It's just like the brow is. You've got a really skinny... Wait a minute, sis. Oh, I thought I didn't have any left. Skinny little pencil on one end, spoolie on the other end. Real nice. I know a lot of people who prefer Benefit over Anastasia. Not really sure why, if I'm being honest with you, because aside from the actual colors, which in my opinion, Anastasia has um, a lot more options anyway. But aside from the colors, there's really no difference between this brand and that one. So, so what I do is, is I just flick through the bottom um, part of the reason why I laminate my eyebrow hairs to my face is because I don't want to have to draw and shape up there and with this, with them being this way, I pretty much just follow the shape that I already have and roll with it. Now if you're someone who wants to be specific about the shape of your brows, of course you'll want to establish a routine that's going to work best for you. Now one thing I definitely recommend from Anastasia is going to be the brow pen. I always, 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 always have to give myself some faux hairs when I do my brows. It's not because like it's a requirement or anything. It just looks better. It's a lot more seamless, especially up here in the front where I kind of wanted to look like I got some brow hairs. And then back here by my tail where there's little bits of gaps. All right. Okay, so I'm going to conceal underneath my brows, not around them, underneath them, put on my eyeshadow primer, and then I will get right into the eyeshadow. So for this look, <laughs> Don't be sick of me in this palette. I did use the Omrizi palette. This is just a chocolatey brown, and then this is like a cool toned, a super cool toned dark brown. And then I used this palette. Now this palette is really, really cool. This is the Naked Urban Decay Cyber palette. This is what it looks like. This is the kind of palette that you buy when you want accent colors to go on top of your eyelids or in your inner corner or wherever you're putting them. We're gonna be using two shades from this palette and that's going to be Bite, like Mega Bite, and then Override. So I'm going to use this Makeup of the Day Cosmetics Blending Bestie Brush. Just go right into Yugo. And I'm pressing it in so that I have less fallout, if at all possible. You definitely don't wanna be picking up more than what you need product-wise. But pick up enough for you to blend and work with. So I'm pressing it in, getting all that pigmentation that I want. And then I'm tapping out the edges so that they are soft enough to blend. Because if you start blending these edges before they get soft enough, you might wind up with a line of demarcation. And all that means is like a, a line that you can see that's not blended out that might take you a little bit longer to blend out once you notice it. Tap out them edges. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. And then I'm blending in the direction I want this to go. So I'm blending this out this way. And make sure that, you know, when you're initially blending the edges of your eyeshadow, that you start with shorter strokes instead of longer strokes. Because if you start with longer strokes, you'll wind up having that line again of demarcation. So I'm blending it out. Get my shape going, all right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the eyeshadow towards my inner corner like I want it. Like right up in here for the most part, yeah. And then wing, wing, wing. <laughs> it sounds like I'm saying ring, but, but with a list. Okay, anyway. Do, 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 do. I'm blend it out. Once you get it as soft as you want it, you can do longer blending strokes just to get that gradient effect. And let me make sure I come up over here. 
You just want to make sure too that the color is even. I have a tendency to blow out this side more than this side. I think it's because I'm being more careful. This is the eye I usually take pictures of. So I guess I'm just being more careful with this eye and not mess it up. <laughs> okay, so tap, tap, tap. And then blend it on out. For this one, I don't think I used the transition shade. I think I just went right into Bite. And this is a really pretty orange, so I just picked up a little bit of it because I suspected that it might be real pigmented. And what I did was I started in the middle here, and then I just blended it into the purpley brown. Now, notice that I'm doing kind of these ovular blends <laughs> ovular motions not super circular like not super tight but just ovular and I'm doing that because I want this color to blend into the purple but I also want it to blend into my brow bone so I want to be able to see it I still want to be able to see the color but I need it to blend and this was really just for me to try it. I didn't put it on here because I was like, oh yeah, this is going to look so good. I just wanted to see if the color was worth mentioning, especially for this palette having so many metallic shades. It's just like, okay, <laughs> you know, but it's a really, really pretty orange. And I just remember back in the day, well not back in the day, but I remember I used to always put orange in my crease because... All of the eyeshadows that I used to use that were brown, they were so cool toned and I would always feel like I needed to add some warmth to them. So I would always use orange. And orange looks beautiful on brown skin. So if you haven't tried your hand at putting orange on, I recommend trying it. Don't blend it into a regular purple though um, without a little bit of red because it'll turn a funky color if you try. This is more of a brown. This eye look was actually really, really simple. I was not planning on it being anything, you know, worth mentioning. Because I was like, we're just going on a cute little date real quick, you know. I try to be pretty for Damien. The next thing that I did was take my 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil. This is also from Urban Decay. It's my favorite eyeliner, especially for making blacks blacker. And what I did was... I took a nice, you want to, one that's going to work with you, so I'm actually going to use this e.l.f. brush. Girl, this brush is old. This is an e.l.f. brush, but it says e.l.f. professional defining eye brush, and it's just angled like that. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to use it to pretty much continue that cat eye shape. I think, you know it now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I brought it in like this. To give me a little bit more depth. So I'm bringing it up and into my crease. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Y'all, I'm trying to remember what I did for this look. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm blending the edges out. And I'm really just bringing this black up. I want that depth. I want that shape. Yes, honey. And I want something to contrast with this color that I'm going to be putting right next to it. I also went ahead and brought the eyeliner a little bit towards my lash line some more. You'll probably need a stiffer brush to do this, if I'm being honest, especially if you don't want the eyeliner just going anywhere. Oh, so pretty. Now, oh, hold on y'all. Hello? Hello? Hi, baby. How's it going? It's okay, what are you doing? I'm doing all right. What uh, what's going on? Nothing. I'm just filming. Oh, did you get braces? Yeah. So you have them in already? Yeah. <laughs> How fast was that process? Because that's insane. It was like an hour and a half. I want to say. Okay. <laughs> Interested. Um. All right. Well, as long as everything's good, you just send me a picture. I'm gonna come see you. I'll put in a reservation for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, y'all, because we still recording. Um, pardon me, my husband called. But anyway, so I'm going to take this eyeliner and I'm going to pull it towards my lash line. With this eyeliner specifically, you do want to go ahead and hurry up and blend it because it does set. 
which I love. Because a lot of eyeliners are really creamy and emollient, which is great for application. But because they don't set, they'll sort of fade um, and come off of your waterline if you're putting it on your waterline. Now this one doesn't get crunchy or anything like that, but it does set to where it's a little bit more difficult to blend or come off. So look, gear. And I'm doing, I'm pulling it down, but I'm moving my brush up and inward. Once you've got the black established, go ahead and take your blending brush again and just go over that area or the edges to soften them a little bit, especially if you're someone who likes to get into details or what have you. If you don't want there to be a line where your eyeliner will stop, this should help soften it for you and make sure you're blending it on the side with the eyeshadow on the brush. You'll smell. Now the best part about this eyeshadow look, y'all, <laughs> is this is pretty much it. I didn't put anything on my lower lash line, I don't think. So this is from Thrive Cosmetics, one of their eyeshadow brushes, and I'm going to use the shade Override. And y'all, I literally just put this right on top. Right on top, like that. And I was considering putting a different shade on, but the way this one was looking, I was it was, it was giving, it was giving, and I just, I couldn't bring myself to take away from what it was giving. So you can either, if your eyeshadow brush is round, you can very easily make that cool uh, shape that I used to do with my eyeshadow all the time where it's like round and it kind of looks like a butterfly. You can do that, but you'll need a round eyeshadow brush to do it. And you just press in, bring it forward, and then you can go back in with like a tiny brush, a smaller brush, and you can add eyeshadow around it to make it more sharp. But what I did was, I went ahead and pressed the rest of it into the eyeshadow primer that I have. And then I blended it past the fold in my eye. Because I wear big lashes and I got a lot of space, so I'm going to use it. You know what I'm saying? So blend this on out. And once you get further up here where you essentially will want your eyeshadow to stop, you just want to have a lighter hand as you're blending and that'll help you with not having a harsh line. You know what I'm saying? But this is so pretty, y'all. And I'm so sorry that I used different palettes. But if you really, really care about this specific color and the orange that I use, because those are, those are the only two colors that you probably can't specifically get anywhere else. If you really, really want these two colors, just check out the Urban Decay palette and grab this because there's some other ones in there that look really pretty too that I like and cannot wait to use. And again, you don't have to bring it up this high. You could literally just put it on the fold of your eye. That way when you lower your eyelids or blink, you know, you'd be able to see it. But I like being able to see my eyeshadow, so. I wore the Silhouette eyelashes from Narcissistic Creations that night. So I'm going to pop those on and do my base makeup and I will be right back. <laughs> okay, also, aside from my obviously crusty lips, this is the final look. <laughs> um, pretty much I just did the eyes and I didn't do anything on the lower lash line. Kept it real simple because... I was trying to make sure we weren't late for our reservation, you know what I'm saying? But this is how it looks. You know, real easy lemon squeezy. I think we only used three eyeshadows and one eyeliner. So, like, you can do this, okay? And you can totally switch out the shimmering shade for any other color, including matte formulas for eyeshadows. If you try this out or you follow the tutorial, Please tag me in your stories on Instagram. I would love to see the look. I do want to thank y'all for watching. Do not forget to thumbs up this video so more people like you can see us this. Period. Alright. <laughs> and drop any comments, questions, and concerns down below. Don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed even if you watch my videos all the time. I love you and I will see y'all wherever I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? Alright. <laughs> Peace.